let's go back to my colleague Manuel Cranting. He is with the Clean Ghana team, um, which is on the streets again after the campaign we launched. And now the campaign hits a slight hiatus because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, Manuel has rejoined us now. Manuel, where are you now? Which areas have been the targets today? Well, Daniel, today the team took off from the old office of the Accra Metropolitan Assembly and then the first stop has been the timber market within the Amamamu um, electoral area, of course, of the um, Ododododio constituency. Now, we're currently in an Islamic school that is within this predominantly wooden structured community. And uh, Mr. Asitanga, who is um, the environmental officer of the AME, and then, of course, um, uh, Madame Florence Kuchi, who is head of public health at the AME, have been issuing some uh, pretty stern directives to um, the caterers and some of the other vendors. Madam, so far, w w what have we been doing so far? So, so far, what we've been doing, we are educating the people on how to keep their uh, surroundings clean and also ensure that where they are preparing food is safe for their health and for the people around. Because we can see that where the people are selling the food, they are not fire conscious. So Mr. Astanga spoke with them because they could speak how we are. And so Mr. Astanga took the lead to educate them on fire safety. Because we could see that where they were cooking, they are pile of wood and then wooden structure at the top. There can be naked flame and before a jack, fire outbreak would take place here and then it is going to be a very serious issue because the whole place is engulfed with wooden structures and that is why we are here today. We've served four abatement notice and out of this notice some are likely to be heading towards court. Some are going to go to court. Uh, we, we, we had some of the residents in the community. They say they have been taking initiative to clean the gutters and the drains, but the assembly is not cooperative in providing containers that will, as it were, cut the um, refuse to an end point. What's the response to that? Yeah, what do we have, we have for as an assembly? It's our duty to assist the communities, educate them to collect their waste and store it properly for further disposal. When you look at the community here, you see that there is no accessible route. So it makes it very difficult for the waste truck to get in to lift the skip container here. So they do door-to-door -door collection here. And the door-to-door -door collection is the tricycle method that they take around to take the waste here. So uh, when we got here, we realized that they said the assemblyman has already taken an initiative by bringing them together to distill the drain. And he brought in those tricycles. The first truck of waste was chartered away. And they were waiting to come back to take the, the further collection of the waste. So at the point now, they said they are still waiting on the assemblyman to come to continue. So what are we doing about it? Eh? What we are doing is that after today our visit here is another wake up call. We're going to link up with the assembly member to bring him back to ensure that we support him whatever we can do to let him clear the waste and then the place will be healthy for all of us. But, 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 but boss, you, you operate this particular, um, what is it, a canteen, or what is it, your, your wife operates it? Okay. And, and they are saying that, I mean, look at the place. Uh, refuse sometimes, there's firewood here, there's fire that's really close to the firewood. It's also close to this wooden structure. That's, that's a lot of danger for not only yourself, but for all the you, people who live around. For you, oh, oh, that, is, that is true. That, yeah. that is true. The matter you are talking. Okay, the matter you are talking is a very serious matter. The thing to you are talking, how government talk, we see everything. Everything is a serious matter. So there is nothing I can say to against you. Yeah, you get my point. So you are so, going to comply? Oh, uh, yeah, you are going to do what yes. we ask you to do? Yes, I will do. I will do. I will do anything the government say we will do, we will do it. So when, when they come back in about a week's time, Everything will be okay over here. We will come to visit for your for your, for, for your office. Okay. Then we will talk, talk together. You okay. understand? You okay. come today to okay. to to your office for the AM for Timor okay. Market. Okay. Uh, we will Wait, come uh, there and talk with you hmm. how we will do so that you can resolve this. You Thank you very much. So uh, th th this man operates this particular HV, and um, there's been you know caution a statement that's been issued to them, and they are to report to the AMA office for further uh, discussions on how to relocate this particular, uh, you know, uh, cooking 
point and to a safer you know spot because there's just um, a school about some 20 meters from this particular spot which exposes um, the students to a lot of danger but from here at the um, timber market at the Amamomo electoral area Daniel if you can hear me we're handing over back to you in the studio Thank you very much, Manuel Cranting, for bringing us those details. Um, remember, the Clean Ghana campaign team is on the streets. We could be in your area next. Be careful. It's time for us to get business news. Stay with us.